to me, I think it's hard to be able to have your own opinion on on things because of because of the resources that we have. I feel like it's a lot of it's very biased, and so it's hard for us to form our own opinions, like true opinions. I, I try to stay out of politics because it's very. I have, I'm focused on other things and I'm focused on people. Talking to people and seeing like what their real story is, like that's what I'm focused on. I don't really care about the, the whole like political atmosphere. Um, that being said, that could be out of a place of privilege, so to speak. You know, we have family, we have friends uh, that are in different states, in different countries, in different counties that in many cases have divergent views of the world. I think a lot of adults feel like it's too late for them to try to help like oh when we were growing up in the 80s we didn't know any of this existed we didn't do anything about it and now it's just too late and I'm gonna die before the world ends so why does it matter to me it's really hard to think outside your bubble so I don't think this divisiveness is anything new and I think that it's coming to a point where it's either going to be solved or something bigger is going to happen. There's such a disconnect between politicians and their constituents. Everyday people don't really believe that politicians have their best interests at heart. I think it's probably the side effect of a couple of things. Part of it is maybe just some of political leaders and um, you know, divide and conquer, you know, using very targeted language. Uh, but I think beyond that, I think even just some, some more simple like environmental factors such as technological advances uh, in communications, those can definitely play into it as well. 